One take about to be speaking on it. Season three. He said NBA 2K25 season three is embarrassing. Joe knows exposed the shooting patch. When I see, I want to see what the exposed of the shooting patch is about because we already know there is no patch when it comes to shooting. I mean, the people that really play the game, we know there is no shooting patch. So the fact that it's being exposed is great. So I want to see what, what's going on with that because we know there is no shooting patch. We know that we was missing 10 shots last week. We know that till this week we missing 10 shots wide open. There is no update on shooting. There is no there is shooting is just what it is. Now, I know people find it funny that I say shooting is broken. And you might also remember I said I like missing. But I don't like missing because of 2K, if you remember me saying that. I said I don't mind missing. I think missing is a part of basketball. I think if you miss time your jumper, you should have a chance to miss it. That keeps the excited excitement. That's keep the competition alive. But when the game is forcing me to miss because I have mastered it. So basically 2K don't want us to master it anymore. You understand that? We're dealing with a situation where we are mastering the game and 2K is saying, because y'all are mastering the game, y'all are making it unplayable for those that have not mastered it. Ding, 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 ding. I just hit the jackpot, right? I mean, we all know that, right? We all know that 2K is upset that people like Anonymous 2K TV, people like you in the chat, people like Swante, people like the others that are making these videos, they're upset that you are mastering the game. They don't want you to be coming out here dogging out their little kids or their older people that are playing the game and they just trying to get two minutes in before work. They just trying to get a couple runs in, but they run into people like you, you that have mastered the game. Some of us don't even play the game that much and we're still 10 steps ahead of the people that play it all day. And then those that do play it all day, there are such elite players that even I can't always keep up with them. So I know the guy that ain't good at the game or the girl that ain't good at the game can't keep up. I can barely keep up, and I'm an elite player. So, but when I can't, I can't, I can't be upset that this person played 20 hours a day. I play 15 hours a day. You play two hours a game. Who should be the better player? The player that put in the most time. Most time. So we shouldn't be upset that there are people that play this game all day and they're better than me and they're better than you. But no, see, I'm okay with them being better than me. It's the people that are not okay that is causing issues in our 2K community. They're not okay with being less than. D-E-I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are the D-E-I category. They want to be all included with the, with the, with the skillful player. They want to come and eat breakfast with the jocks. You're not a jock, my boy. You're not that. You're not a superstar. Go eat over there. We know the rules. See, it's the niggas that ain't go to public school. Ding, 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 ding. It's the niggas that ain't go to public school that is having an issue because they are less than. They used to being included. It's the nigga that went to public school and, and um he didn't have a voice in the public school, but now he's a grown man and he got a little money. He wants to um buy his record. He wanna buy his way to being good. He wanna buy his friends. You know what I'm saying? It's the niggas. So it's the it's the group of, of people that sit back and always wanted to be legendary. They always wanted to be able to go get the nice looking girl. You know what I'm saying? They wanted to come talk there, but they seen you over there. You posted up on the wall. You just scored 20 points in the game. You just hit your first touchdown. You know what I'm saying? You got the new Leatherman jacket. And this nigga looking at you like, look at this motherfucker, man. I wish I could have a Leatherman jacket. Fuck him. Fuck her. You know, fuck him. And fuck that nigga, dog. Man, that nigga ain't even all that no way. That nigga ain't did never score like 20 points. Yo, appreciate my boy Dexter with the big gift this all, gang. I appreciate the love always, my dude. Thank you. 
So Dex, you know what it is. It's a lot of these niggas that ain't that ain't never had no shine trying to come into a video game and demand shine. But see, that's what the DEI category stands for. It's for those people that is forcing the government to make them included. And we got those same kind of peoples inside of our community that trying to force 2K to make them included because they are less skillful. It's just that simple. I was going to say some more things to add on to it, but it's just simply because they're less skillful. They can't compete with guys like Anonymous. Even though Anonymous is still not at the top of the food chain, I'm just in the middle of the food chain. You know what I'm saying? I used to hang with the big dog, but now, you know what I'm saying? I'm scratching at him. You know, when I see the big dog pull up to my court, you know what I'm saying? I give him a fight. But you ain't going to give him nothing. You're going to get that 21-0. Get out of here, my boy. So now you finna complain about how the game is broken and how this don't work and how, and man, he shouldn't be able to do this. See, I'm not saying it. I'm saying he should not be able to cheat. I'm saying that 2K should not be holding me back to compete with this guy. See, what you're saying is 2K need to give you a helping hand so you can compete with this guy. See, I don't want no handout. I don't want 2K to help me beat my opponent. I want 2K to release me so I can dog walk my opponent. Do you see this different? I don't want them to help me. I want them to release me. See, a lot of y'all want help from 2K. Yeah, so you want 2K, help me make my shot. Let me make these whites. I didn't time it correctly, I know, but can you please let it go in? Please, 2K. 2K, let me get the offensive rebound. I know I took a bad shot, but can you please let me get the offensive rebound? You know this guy get it. You know what he's going to do to me. So can you please help me, the, the DEI guy? The DEI girl, can you help me get this position? I know, I know I didn't work hard, and I know I'm not that good at it, but can you help me, please? Can you throw me? No, matter of fact, fuck that. You see how much money I got? Make my legislation law. The DEI category. See, I told y'all, man, we can look at real life, and we can look at 2K, and you will see a lot of similarity. The DEI category has taken over the world, and the DEI category is trying to take over our video games. The people that are not skillful, the people that are, are using their money and their power, a.k.a. Your, um, your Black Lives Matter, your rainbow community, the new woke, not the woke that we know. See, we know what the real woke is, but see the woke that they have created. They use their little wokeness. See, they got that fake woke. You know, the fake woke, like... You know, I know I'm not six feet tall, but I still should be able to play with the six feet people. You're like, no, this is the six feet category. Well, I feel like it should, should allow me to play in there too. See, that's the new woke shit. See, you know what our, our wokeness includes, you know what I'm saying? We understand that y'all feeding us poison. We understand that y'all put fluoride. And we understand that there are some motherfuckers talking about, yo, if there wasn't no fluoride in the water, who know what nigga God made you perfect? God got a system. Talk your shit, nigga. The body, you know, the body is its own universe. Everything that you going through, whatever illness you going through, your body can solve that own mission. Do you know what the car is made from? Do you know the design of a car comes from the design of a body? <laughs> I didn't know that either. I didn't know that either. A car is designed after the human body. But see, you got to do a little more things outside of the car that you have to do outside of the body. See, well, I mean, it's similar that you got to go pour your oil inside the car, and then you got to go pick your, 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 um, your items, your herbs, and stuff like that to, to eat, you know. But everything that we need to heal ourselves it's naturally produced on the earth. So there is no, we shouldn't need chemicals, but we've been great. Okay. Uh, okay. I am about to go there. I'm going to slow down. Hey, oh boy. Let's get started with the reaction video. My bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, we own one. We live tonight. We're going to do two reaction videos. Then we're going to play 2K, man. All right. Let's get started with the video. The ISO guy, Sensei, the greatest name on 2K in existence. 
season three is here we got a new patch gameplay update how to get your rep boost okay communities reacting to season three we're gonna go over everything new in season three we're gonna see if it's what we've been asking for you know <laughs> So before we get into everything new in the season, as you can see, 2K had it stuck like this for days. Now, I'm not a mathematician, my boy. I ain't gonna hold mm. you. But 51% plus 51% is 102%. <laughs> Yo, I know the 2K community is still not believing that this Ride versus Elite, this Old Town versus River City versus Sunset, I know y'all still not falling for that look. That look shit, is it? You do know... You don't choose who win. Come on, man. Come on. Don't tell me we still falling for Rise One versus Elite One. Uh, the Rise player played more game. You, you you still falling for that dog? You still believe that you had something to do with who won this event? Ah, pig, y'all. Come on. We too old to be believing in Santa Claus. That's why kids to play around with. Until they get a, a certain age to where we can have this conversation. Y'all too old to believe, to believe in Santa Claus. You too old. So, don't, so I know you're not believing that you actually won the Rise event versus them just giving it to us. Because of popularity, Rise is more popular than Elite. Hello, who don't know that? So please don't tell me the 2K community is still believing in Santa Claus. I understand the little kids until they get to an age we can have that conversation. Yes, we play more game. Rise more. We the better group. You come on, dog. Come on, bro. You're not believing that Santa Claus still, right? You 2K gave Rise the event because they know Rise is more popular. And then guess what? They're gonna give it to the other group next time. It's just gonna they're gonna take turns. Everybody gonna get their turn. One group might win more times than the other group because. It's the popular choice. Hello. Well, I just hit a ding, ding, ding. It's the popular choice. Uh, that's a bar. Are you understanding? It's the popular choice, baby. I'm talking about, I'm, I'm giving you double entendres, triple entendres right now. Then let me know if you're keeping up. Tight one. You know, the devs, they were saying that it was in the point twos and the 50% point. I, I don't know. Math's not math. But Rise won. And Rise probably only won because of the outcry on the Twitter. This is why I said, must become Karen's. It's the only way you could get huh. what you want. Hey, okay? nobody is playing on a. Wow. Let me let him say that again. Double entendre, see? Double entendre, triple entendre, quadruple entendre. See, that's what we're doing here. Listen to what Swante just said. And Rise probably only won because of the outcry on the Twitter. This is why I said must become Karen's. It's the only way you could get what you want. Okay, did you hear that? Let me play it one more time. Now, he's, he's just not talking about video game. He's not just talking about 2K. Okay, I want you to understand that. Let me let that play again. It's not math, but Rise won, and Rise probably only won because of the outcry on the Twitter. This is why I said must become Karen's. It's the only way you could get what you want. You 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 understand that? You you understand that, right? It's not just about two K. This is see what I keep telling y'all. The DEI program is everywhere now. I I, I don't know if we're gonna do the reaction against. The Drewski, Drewski situation. It depends on how we feel. But that's another one of those situations. See, a Karen can be anybody. Anybody can get this exploit if they, if they know how to manipulate the system. The same way you can get to win an event <laughs> due to popular choice, due to over overreacting, over caring, going to social media, pulling out your your issues or why you think your 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 team or your group should win. You know, it's like it's really simple how to get the machine to move in your favor. AKA the popular choice. Man, I, I feel like I'm saying a lot with it might not be coming out the way I wanted to come out, so you might not be understanding what I'm saying. But 
a lot of people in this world get what they want just for using the caring tactics. The Asian community use it. The Caucasian community use it. The black community use it. Politicians use it. The homeless man on side the road use it. The homeless woman use it. Your kids use it. Do you know Karen's has been a thing forever, but they just found somebody to put a tactic to, and it was the white woman? But there are Karen's everywhere. There's Karen's everywhere that know how to push emotions of the massive to get what they want. This has been going on in 2K. See, okay. We just gonna let me slow down because we, we just get started with the video. I know it's some old shit coming, but I just want you to hear that part. That was that was beautiful right there. Hey, nobody is playing. Can't you mark pull the camera move? <laughs> it's everywhere. It just all if you can see it or not. Karen's are everywhere. Do you see the DDG girlfriend? She pulled a camera move. <laughs> um the, ma the magician on Casanet's screen pulled a carry move. You see, everybody using the carry tactics. It's not just for the white woman anymore, but we've been doing it, but people never had a label to put on it. Your kids is looking you in your face, pulling the carry move when they don't want to go to bed, when they want ice cream. That's Karen. You might say, nah, that's a little different. Might be different for you. But it's the same tactics. See, this is what I mean by critical thinking. See, there's not a lot of critical thinking. Somebody will come and say, yo, that's a little different. At the end of the day, it all comes from the same place. Getting what you want. Critical thinking. See, critical thinking lead me to say that this is no different from that. This is no different from that. That's no different from this. And that right there can be very similar to this. Okay, where does it all stem from? Hmm, that person right there, or that group of people, or that organization, or whatever, want something. And they're pulling a, 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 a pull and push and tug on emotions of massive, of, of the massive, or whether it's on a single individual. Okay, hopefully you understand what I'm saying. Let's keep going. On elite, everyone is on rise. I know they say it's by 1%, oh. but who... This Black Friday, upgrade mm. your sleep with Nectar's band. Uh, let's switch this over to my to my channel with no ads. So I have a 2K business channel that I don't have. Uh, I don't have a partnership with. I mean, I have a I monetize on my anonymous channel, but this is my channel that I use for my knowledge. And this is my knowledge channel. And this is the channel that don't have any ads because when I'm listening to my knowledge, I don't need no ads. I don't care for ads on the other channel. So let's go to this channel, switch it over, find out where we was and get back in there. But it, no more ads. But definitely watch the ads to support the G. But when you already have a paid channel, because I have a membership, he will automatically get supported. Just like if you have Turbo on Twitch, just because you have Turbo, you don't watch any ads, but you still, you, you still gonna Twitch still gonna take out a portion of that paid partnership or, or membership and pay that streamer that you're watching. So for y'all to sit down, you ain't support your G. I already supported him by having a membership for the ones that don't know. So I don't have to watch the ads because they already gonna pay him a portion of my membership purchase. If that, you understand what I'm saying? Only way you could get your rep boost is if you play one of these events. So next season, right. on Twitter, this is why I say it, must become Karen's. It's the only way you could get what you want. Hey, okay? nobody is playing on Elite. Everyone is on Rise. I know they say it's by one percent, but who? Nobody. Man, I, I ain't hearing. All the no life. Okay. Um, let me make sure I got this correct. Cause I think I may have just messed, missed, mixed up my elite versus rise okay what is the one i play in the one where i'm not a near a boat because y'all know i don't i don't i don't be on 2k enough to care to know so I, I assume that's elite right 
the one that doesn't have the boat, is that Rise or Elite? I think I mixed them up. I think that's Rise. Okay. If that's Rise, then yes, that's what majority of people are playing. So, if 2K, and that's what I mean by whoever won 2K gave them the win. Now, and like I said, I'm correcting myself, but my, 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 my point still stands. Okay, Rise is where I play. Okay, yes. So, that's the winner. Now, if 2K, which, which they did give it to Elite, <coughs> it's just to give it to the DEI group. <coughs> mm. My bad. Y'all look cold. So, my, my point still stands. Whether Rise won, which they did not, it will have been because they are the biggest group. But see, you don't have to satisfy the biggest group. Ding, 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 ding. You have to satisfy the smallest group. The biggest group usually don't have as many complainers. What I mean is, most people that got money won't complain of bad service. Am I making sense? Am I making sense? Okay, so Rise One. Okay, so which one is the? That's the. Either way, I'm gonna make that point stand. Whether I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you from the DI standpoint, they gave it to the less fortunate, or whether they gave it to the winners because they had the most people. Either way, I'm gonna make this point stand because this is the. This is it. So who, who won? The people with okay, give it to me like this. This is what I know. The people with no boat, you just got quartz, or the people where you got that little fucking boat shit. So was it the boat niggas that won or the no boats? So rise, that's the no. So rise is the no boat, right? Cause like I said, y'all, I don't, I don't, I don't play it enough to know. Me, I mean, I just know I be walking into that motherfucker. I think it's rise. Okay, before we move forward, we're going to make this point stand because this is the point. I don't want, I don't want you to think I'm, I'm bullshitting. Okay, it was 51 51. It should have been uh, both getting the prize. You said they both should have got the prize? All right. Before we move forward, can somebody let me know? Is the boat that one or the no boat? Before we move forward, I, I need, I need, I need to know because I got to make this point stand no matter which angle I'm coming from, because I want you to know how this shit works. All right, he said, "Facts: The world is fixed to help the weakest link all day, every day. They don't care about your organization." But let me make this other point: Why we waiting on that? Cause you motherfuckers slow as fuck. I know, I, I know, we ain't delayed like that. Goddamn it! Somebody typing this bitch. Um, agree. Both should have gotten the rep boost. All right, no boat. Okay, so no boat won. That's where I play it. In my opinion, that has the most people. Everybody, I, I, I don't really. Okay, the only person I know like playing over there at no boat is Thunder. I mean, at the boat shit because he said it don't have any shadows. All right. Feel like I, I done got so far away from my point, man. But I'm just gonna let that stand. I'm just gonna let whatever I said stand because I know either way I made the point understood. If you if you if you was listening, I think I made the point understood. So I'm gonna let whatever I said stand. Uh, no boat is rise. As okay, yeah, so that's where I play it. And from what I know, a lot of people play there more than they would play the other place. Okay, so the no boat won. So from what Swante saying, Swante it, it sounds like he said that Yeah, they picked the winner. But like like I said, whatever I said, I'm gonna let it stand because I think I made a great point. And I'm gonna close it off with this right here. I'm gonna close this point off is. P 
People that have money usually don't complain about bad food service. They simply have them to just remake it. Um, and they patiently wait. This is what I have noticed. People that don't have much money, I have noticed that their complaints is a little more harsher. This is what I have noticed in my life. Y'all tell me what you have seen. People that are very financially, I don't want to say very financially, I'm just going to say people that are financially stable usually don't complain as much. They, oh, I love it. I love my chat. I love it. They understand it. Okay, you messed up. Cool. Can you just remake it, please? I didn't ask for any onions. I was at the restaurant. Um, I was eating my food. I was sitting next to this. This um, couple that seemed to, they pulled up in some real nice. So I'm going to say they had money, right? Um, and it was something, but I have seen this many times, but I'm just giving you an example recently. There was onion on her food. She said she did not, you know, she was like, ah. she, was, she was telling her husband, she like, I, I will try to eat it, but nah, you know, it's just too many onions. She had them to remake her food. Um, and they remade it. It was no issue. She ate, talked to the wait, the waiter, the server, and like everything was good. You know, no issue. I have been around people that didn't have much money. And the way that they would get things remade would have a, a very It's a very out of, it's a very nasty attitude that come in with this. This is not what the fuck I asked for. No, this is not right. No, my shit is cold. Uh, I'm sure a cat can agree to that. She over there sleep. All right, then how she sleep? I'm talking in loud. I have seen cat do that. I have seen cat get upset about and <laughs> like I said, we come from a lower end of money, right? So. I have always seen my family react in a negative way when it comes to their food being cold, their food not having something that they, and then as I've been, because y'all know I do security. I do security for multi-millionaires, a few billionaires. The way that they, yo, what's good, gang? The way that they react about food that is not right, and, and I'm saying like any customer service, but I know I have seen a lot because I go to a lot of restaurants with these people. They act way calmer. Can it be fixed? If it can be fixed, it's no issue. And nine times out of ten, guess what? Guess what? It can be fixed. I say that to close this point off because we already 40 minutes in. We ain't even got them started really for real. To close this point off, in the 2K community, The group that is the largest usually would be more okay with a broken game because it really don't matter. Most of us are going to play it anyway. Uh, most of us are going to be good enough to figure out some things. But see, it's this small group of people that make so much noise because they willing to fill out a review. They willing to write an essay, an article. See, you most likely don't have time to write no article on 2K. You most likely don't even care that much. You don't even play it that much. When you do play it, you play it for what you know it is and you move on. See, but this small group of people that are so trash, because they want to be able to compete with you, they will make the loudest noise. I hope I was able to close that point. I feel like I did a bad job at the end, but I think in the beginning I gave some great examples and I think I landed my plane very clearly. So I think at the end I may have messed it up for some people that try to understand what I'm saying. But go watch it at the beginning of what I was saying. I think I made a very strong point.
and I think I was able to make it clear. With that being said, we're gonna move on from that right there. But God damn, that was a long fucking explain. A lot of explain. <laughs> they're all on rise okay so they're helping that win percent think about it guys now, the only way you can get your rep boost is if you play one of these events so next season if y'all want to get your rep boost you have to play one of the uh, affiliation events now i didn't get my rep boost last season i don't know if i got it this season y'all let me know if y'all got it talk to your boy this game is so bad that i missed someone hitting the first legend five i thought there was another one that's insane but look Here's his uh rep up, and he didn't get nothing secret. To my knowledge, he got this cool animation. It's oh, a dope is fire. animation, right? That's fire. I ain't he should have got something with it. That's but you fire. know, he get 10 million VC. I mean, that's a that's a W rep reward. But like I said, my personal opinion on the rep reward this year, 2K get an A, an A. Uh, the rep reward is fire. From the from the 10 million VC, from the from the from the badges, um, from the from the from the cap breakers. Um, it was a lot of other stuff too. I think they got next. It was some other shit that was, but but I can't remember all of them. But I know I gave them an A. They have some amazing rep rewards this year. Um, and that's why people, a lot of people are just sick with with two K because they did a lot of great things behind the scene, like the behind the scenes of a character. But then when you come to the gameplay. And usually it's the opposite. Usually gameplay is playable in the behind the scenes of everything, the characters and, and just the, the animation, all that shit is dog shit. But this year, it's straight gameplay that is dog shit, but the behind the scenes of the badge elevators, the cow breakers, the, um, the takeover system, um, giving you the rep rewards. Like all this shit is amazing. But then you come to gameplay and it's dog shit. You definitely should have got some uh other stuff. Look, been rewarded 10 million VC. Double reward. Is this gonna make y'all grind to uh Legend 5? Hey, he seems know. very happy, man. <laughs> Shout out to young Cash Out, man. Now we got some gameplay updates. 2K Tuts is is showing the speed of pass styles, man. Stand still, medium moving, and long. Y'all let me know y'all's favorite pass style down below. Joe knows is exposing NBA 2K25, man. <laughs> Pay attention. Call me crazy. He's basically saying this game is trash and it's unbearable. If it did Hold on. attention. Let's see what that. Call me crazy, but 2K25 remind me of Mario Karts. When you're in last, you're getting blue shells <laughs> and stars. And when you're at first, you're getting coins and bananas. Hmm. What y'all think about that? Call me crazy. He's basically saying this game is trash and it's unbearable. If it did not make me a millionaire, I would not be playing it. Call me crazy, but 2K25 reminds me of Mario Kart. When you're in last place, getting blue shells and stars. Mike Wang is playing God, trying to cater to the negative 1% casuals. Yo, you know, smart. Why do you hate See, but See, this is what I love about people that ain't afraid to say this right here. Because we all know it, right? Type if you believe that 2k is not catering to the poor the, the poor side of skills i know anybody that rock with anonymous yeah most of y'all usually say i give some amazing takes it's not a lot of y'all that disagree with my takes you probably be saying like i might go a little farther and i might stretch it a little but it's not many people that that watch me and disagree with my takes I have been one of the guys that always has been, okay, my boy say two, so he disagree with me. So champion. Uh, and you know, I know you rock with me. So you know it ain't no, you know, it ain't no ill will that you disagree. Who do you think 2K is catering to then when it comes to making their game? Um, because I said type two if you think 2K is not catering to the less skillful side of of of, of comp uh, of skills. Which would mean that they're catering to the bad players versus catering to the good players. So you said two. So if you could explain why we still watching this, you know, and then we'll come back and read it. But um, I'm, I'm happy that Swante said this because a lot of people won't admit it, man, because it's bad for business. It's bad for business because the average person is not going to be good at 2K. And respectfully, we have to acknowledge this respectfully. The average person that, he said, so my bad, wrong number. Okay, you meant one. Okay, yeah. So the average person that's watched 2K is not going to be 
on the level of the next person. But most of us are okay with not being on the same level. We understand that this person is a little bit better. It's anonymous jealous that who, who do we want to name? It's anonymous jealous that let's be realistic. I give out some names. It's anonymous jealous that Nike is now, in my opinion, I think Nike is the man. It's anonymous jealous of that. I wish I wish Nike would would, would be. I know I know he probably got his own personal things going on. Um, I know he got a family and stuff like that. And I know he probably at a point where he don't really care about this game no more because I mean, why would he? Somebody on his level. Imagine somebody on Nike level having having to compete with. Now he would have to compete with me. He would have to because I'm not I'm not on his level, but I'm there enough to whoop his ass. You understand what I'm saying? Now back in the days, uh, I have played against Nike only one time in my 2K career. Um, and I ain't gonna say who won because I'm not trying to make it like that. Uh, but I only played against Nike one time in my 2K career. Now that time, you know, woo woo woo. All right, but do I think I'm on his level now? No. But I still will fight him. Now, the average person that watches Nike wouldn't be in his arena. But see, most of us that watch good players, guess what we do? See, when you're watching somebody that's good, you have already come to accept that this person may be better than you. Type one if that makes sense. Type one if that makes sense. Most of us are not watching people that is not better than us when it comes to the skillful side of 2K. Oh my goodness, I just said something. When it comes to the skillful, when it comes to the skillful side of 2K, not the entertainment side, we're talking about skills. If you're watching somebody on the skill side of 2K, not the entertainment part, we understand there's an entertainment culture, and then there's some skill, that's a skill culture. You watching somebody that you already have come to accept that he may be better than you. And the reason that you can watch him or her because you can learn something from their game. Right? So, what I'm saying is, there are so many people that are not okay with watching somebody. There's people that are coming to the skillful side of 2K. See, the entertainment side is merging with the skill side, and that's the problem. Otherwise, I'm not watching a person who don't know what they're doing on 2K. That's that simple. Now, on the entertainment side, you can watch a less skillful guy. But what I'm saying is, the entertainment side, the content creation side, have somehow, I don't know how this happened. I had to think a little, because I'm sure I can figure it out. But I, at, this, at this moment in time, I don't know how we merge. But we have merged. Okay, facts. Now, let me ask you this. Well, because I, I ain't trying to disrespect you. You feel me, money? I know you rock with me the long way. Would you have beat Pope Boy Sin two years ago? I'm just saying. I'm not disrespecting your skills, but I'm saying Pope Boy Sin, you beat him, you cooked him last year. Would you have cooked him two years ago? And, I, and that's what I mean, like, I'm not disrespecting your game, but I'm saying of what we know of Pope Boy Sin, will he be somebody that you'll be a little nervous to play against somebody like that, right? Two years ago? But see, the game had changed so much that the average hooper can now come in the ring with a Mike Tice. Oh, my goodness, y'all ain't hearing me. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I'm so good at what I do. Jay Paul can get in the ring with a Mike Tyson in 2020. I'm so good at what I do. I'm so good at what I do. If you can just hear me, it's so beautiful how this shit be coming out. In 2024, Jay Paul can get in the ring with a Mike Tyson, and a Mike Tyson will take a dive for the money, and he'll walk around with his ass out. Type one if I'm making sense. <clears throat> Type one if I'm making sense. The DER program is so extensive. So you'll have a nigga that a, it's a world-class act that'll take a dive for a young buck. 
Because this young buck is the entertaining entertainers have merged with killers. And we mean killers in a, in a sense of monsters at their at their talents, killers of their of their of their craft. So it's just like in 2K, you have entertainers watching skillful poopers and they can't get on their level. You feel me? He said, no, two years ago, he wasn't, okay, okay. And see, you might be a dog, money, you know what I'm saying, just haven't watched enough of your content. But I'm just saying, though, we know when it comes to a 1v1, would you want to hop in the ring with an anonymous 2K TV? Do you know I had, you remember, you remember when that nigga, you know what I'm saying? You remember when, okay, we ain't trying to throw no salt on people, but you know how niggas to fear, you know, niggas used to get panicked when they ran into an anonymous in a 1v1, right? Niggas be like, oh, shit, man, I got to play against anonymous. Well, we know how this about to go, right? And that's what I mean. But see, things have changed so much because the content creators and the entertainers have somehow merged in the lane of skills. And because of that, 2K has to go with the DEI program because somehow these niggas they invaded the skillful community. So the skillful community got to take a back seat. So now we're looking at a Nike competing with a dude that just started playing 2K last week. We're like, hold on. This game's supposed to be over. But it can't be over when he can't make the wide open shot that we know he can make 10 out of 10 times. But all because 2K is jumping out there, we don't want you to make that one. So we're going to make you work. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying, though. Things have changed so much, 23 World, that now you can run into Anonymous 2K TV and you'll smack the shit out of that nigga. You'll see Anonymous in a 1v1 now and you just simply will post this nigga up all day. You'll just... You'll just be better than him and sit on the rim and wait for him to miss a wide open shot because you know 2K only gonna let me make so many in a row. Not because I missed time, but because the game said so. I feel like we're cooking today. We're gonna play 2K in a little bit, but we got two videos to get through. And y'all know how my reactions are never two minutes. I don't have no nine minute reaction. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I just don't. Every reaction I got, 30 minute plus. That's talk. Casuals, Swante, they cater to game to casuals? No, because this is what it creates. You don't think in PC? Come on, that means someone's basically playing God controlling reality. That doesn't mean Thanks. that casuals like it more. They're creating a scenario where they think that means you're being manipulated into Bingo. liking it more when you're not aware. Come on, robot. It better. Talk, you want to live in that reality? Talk. Have some pride as a man. It's a damn video Talk. game. This participation. Talk. Talk. You're being, <laughs> you're being manipulated so bad to think that you are a competitor to the point when you run up against real hoopers that you think the game is broken. Y'all ain't hear what I just said. 2K has manipulated the bad hoopers so bad that when they actually run into real hoopers it hurts them to the point that they actually believe that the game is broken but the game was already broken to benefit them but now they believe that this can't be right this game ain't working i shouldn't be losing to this guy or you have like jay paul beating mike tyson but if Mike Tyson beat Jay Paul, do you know there's a portion of people in the world that say Jay Paul should have beat Mike Tyson? If Mike Tyson would have been allowed to fight for the people that don't understand what I'm saying, there was a contract where Mike Tyson could not hit Jake Paul. He cannot hit him with an uppercut. He cannot do no uppercuts. And if you watch the fight, Mike Tyson had to pull back so many punches because there, I don't know what type of contract they had, but we do know there was stipulation that he could not hit him the way he wanted to hit him. Now, because of the made up, my boy said he glad he took a year off from 2K, and I'm pretty sure you got a lot done too in a year. 
But what I'm saying is because of the made up scenario, listen, because of the created and docker, the docket environment that that Mike Tyson and Jake Paul created, there is a group of people that would say if Mike Tyson had won, they would have said, man, no way Mike Tyson beat Jake Paul. We're talking about a veteran, a machine. Did you watch the training? Did the training look anything like the fight? No. Because it was structured like that. That's how you sell. He sold real training to the audience, and then when he got into the fight, he had to go into his script. So, in 2K, you got real hoopers that are competing with amateurs, and the amateur is just so cocky that they believe that they're Jake Paul. You understand what I'm saying? You got real hoopers like my boy Mayor. Come on. We know what you do in 2K, right? But guess what? Now you compete with Jake Paul, and Jake Paul is beating on you. And then when you beat Jake Paul, Jake Paul is saying to you, nigga, you ain't even that good. I'm not that good. I'm the guy that you've been watching for the last five years. But this is how you talk to me. Do you understand what I'm saying? The guy that just started 2K a year ago is talking to the guy that's been in the community for over a decade, putting in work, but all of a sudden you're not that good. Did you think I forget how to play basketball or something? But see, it's like that because of the environment that 2K, 2K has created. So they give these dudes a false illusion, and now they are running with it. So that's why I said 2K creates a narrative and give it to their minions, and their minions run out there and spew this narrative. Trophy era, you're cooking the world. Even on the video games, when we trying to escape reality, you know, fate is already set up in the world. Your fate is faded. You are a product of your environment. Very few can break through, but now on Very the game, few. they playing God. I used to be able to escape into virtual reality, make my own reality. Now I can't because people don't have thumbs. But he says, when you're getting first, you're getting coins and banana. They're playing God on Mario Kart, but you never know. Does that make sense or I'm tripping? I don't know how this doesn't make sense. Joe, thought you was a smart guy, man. Come on. Joe knows has retired point guard. It's gotten that bad, man. Retired point guard. Y'all know everybody want to be the star on the court, man. Oh, damn. Poseidon is playing. Oh, my God. Are y'all excited? So, look, they did this Christmas theme. It's dope. It's cool. I love it. I like it. But I hate the city. Got this big, beautiful Christmas tree. Immaculate. I haven't been in the city yet, so I haven't seen rewards, it. Man. Isn't this funny how it's like right here? It's trying to make me buy it. They're so smart. Look at this, guys. It's right. Hmm. And then look, look, they got the mascot right there. The marketing team is top tier, bro. And hey, y'all know we've been giving 2K we've been giving 2K credit for that for years. There is no other company that is as brilliant as 2K. Um it's just like we have to give Fortnite its props. You know, what Fortnite was able to do was rebrand themselves so good that people thought it was a new game. That's powerful. And 2K, 2K has done what Fortnite did since I was a little kid. Fortnite did it with one time, and that was with Fortnite. 2K did it with 2K11, 2K12, 2K13, 2K14. 2K has came out every year and made you think that they produce a new game. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <coughs> what if I want sick? I can really cook. I can't even cook right now because I got a little cold. Every time I want to really cook, little shit be coming up. Fortnite did what they did one time with Fortnite. 2K been doing what they've been doing since they've been making 2K games. And that's the ability to give the impression that they created a new game. All while we're still complaining about the same issues. Man, they tough. You can't tell me that ain't tough. The game is a marketing team. They got to get on Twitter because this is master class, bro. It's right. You have to unlock. This is so brilliant. Seriously, bro. Like. You want to make a business, bro? Like, you got to talk to these cats, man. They they need Facts. to do some YouTube videos. I ain't going to hold Nah, for real. Let me uh secure my tea. You know, we ask for these type of teas. You know, you want to be a foo-foo boy? You know, you got that premium pass up there. 
Michael Jordan mural. Okay, what a immaculate banner. You know, we asked for this, right? Um, butterfly indicator, something we definitely asked for. These rep coins, something we definitely asked for. This holiday trail we've had, um, very immaculate. Top tier reward. Some other great rewards of the greats. Lightning green release. This is cool. I like this. Tier three rep accessories. Now look, the thing is with these arm sleeves, why do they look so bad? Like you don't want to put it on to mess up the fit, man. You're out of touch. Get Felicia out <laughs> of the studios. He is yeah. influencing y'all negatively, man. Look, you get a hot dog player indicator. This is good. Okay, good job, Felicia. I know you. I know you're responsible for this, my boy. Tier two overdrive perk. What is he calling We've Felicia? Been asking for this. Uh, got a emote dancing. Uh, purple eye color. So look, we got this nice purple eye color implemented by Young Felicia. Okay. This is gonna go nicely with the twerking emotes that they have wow. given us. You know, your player jumps around real giddy. Bathing, wow. something we definitely asked for. Um, That's crazy. Another XP mm. token, this all terrain, man. Can we unlock ankle breakers in the past, my boy? <laughs> Can we unlock a uh, removing RNG shooting from the game? Okay, Max uh, plus one, you know them hoes cool, you know. Right, can we unlock around. that? Okay, skill boost, 10, okay, ugly sweaters. Yay. We asked for that. Yeah, we asked for this too. <laughs> Crusader helmet. Look, Benny the Bull mascot. Nice, nice. Rex sleeve. Okay. Dingle beard. Okay. Pair that with the purple eyes. Be the ultimate Fufu Boy Warrior. Okay, some nice player banners. Damn, we 25 in. Overdrive perk, emotes, dancing, Gatorade. Man, these like rewards are just so immaculate, man. Max plus one, Gatorade. Proving ground headband. Bro, these rewards are top tier, dog. Whoever comes up with this, like, bro, just look. Y'all just be hating. Look how good these rewards are, bro. Look at this. The Vince Carter jersey. Bro, this is so dope, man. I don't know what's dope about this shit. I think Swante might be trolling because, um, and if he's not trolling, my personal opinion, who gives a fuck about this shit? Fix the game. See, see, that's what I see. Me, I, I have always stood in, in in one box when it comes to 2K. Fuck your cosmetics. Fuck cosmetic. But see, cosmetic is the number one business in the world. If it's not number one, what's the number one business in the world? Like we know, females are killing the cosmetic game. They're killing it so much that men have tapped into the cosmetic business. Men now are doing your nails. Paint your eyebrows. Because guess what? And we're talking about heterosexual men. Because we hustlers. We understand, man. These motherfuckers getting all this money just simply drawing on these girls' face. Shit, I might well get over there drawing on her face too. Shit. Let me paint it in. I know some soldiers, some stand-up men that are in the cosmetic business hustling. Hustling. Don't be. Let me keep it all the way funky with you. Don't be a handsome dude, a, a dude with swag, and you in the car. You wanna know? Are you wanna know about the men's heterosexual men that are in the massage business? Oh, you wanna know? Tough. Tough. And on top of that, oh, the tips are crazy. Oh, you wanna know? So what I'm saying is, 2K understand that cosmetic sell because that's what it's selling. If been selling, they're gonna keep selling. People love to dress up and advertise and, and, and look customizations. But see, I'm saying, stop going to get your ass pumped up and just go to the gym. Oh, let me translate that for you. Stop giving me banners. Stop giving me badges and fix the fucking shooting, defense, passing, dribbling, movement. Yeah, yeah, see, I'm saying, I don't want your cosmetic. I don't want your customization. I want you to fix your game. Yeah, so you just twerking or something? I don't, I don't know what that's. Like these niggas these... Water, like these niggas got motherfucking dance moves in the game where you can't even fucking move correctly, but your dude can do a full dance move. You can't even go up, down, side to side, right, left, diagonal. You can't dribble between the legs and just do that. You gotta do a fucking jab step, then dribble between the legs. You gotta go to the paint full speed and then slow down. But these niggas can make you do a full dance move or some whole shit. 
Come on, dog. Nigga got you doing a full scripper move as a bitch. Nigga got every color hairstyle in the game. Nigga got all these fucking outfits, clothes, shoes. But can't fucking allow you to just control your player? Come on, bro. Get that. Get the, get the cosmetics out the game. Nigga, just give me a brown shirt and let me hoop. I know I'm basic. I know I know anonymous. You man, you just out of you you out of touch. You out of style, nigga. We gotta be flashy when we hoop. We gotta look good when we hoop. I get you saying you wanna look good while you hooping, my nigga, but clearly they have missed the point of hooping. It just got you looking good. Oh, you ain't understanding, huh? Okay. Mech helmets, okay, cool, and a cat breaker. Now look, brilliant marketing. They ain't gotta do much, you feel me? Cause they know you gonna want that cat breaker, dog. And you know you gonna buy them levels. Don't buy the levels, guys. You see this? Don't do it, please. Look, seventy-seven dollars. Don't do it. Just wow. think. Anytime you ever bought levels, did you think was it really worth it? Wasn't. Don't do it. Just play normally. You don't get it. You don't get it. Even the guy who hits the 40 every season, you're gonna have the same chance, bro. Cause Mike Wang plays God, bro. Either try and get a level a day to knock it out. Don't do it, bro. Now let's check out these damn wreck jerseys, man. These are the wreck jerseys, man. They seem cool. Tell my Tim's not on. Okay, we got an error code. Okay, we got this animated holler. The only way this nigga just got an error code while looking through the fucking cosmetics. You see what I'm saying, bro? Nigga got an error code while just looking at the items. And, and, man, let's, okay, we're going to fast forward to where, where we see he's speaking on. Because right now he's just looking at all the customization shit. So I think that's it. Okay, hold on, let's go. Let's go. I want to hear about the shooting patch that exposed. This stuff, like it'd be different. And it wasn't like it didn't require that much effort. Like it'd be clean, like like stuff for everyone, and then like some rare stuff, you know. But like they tripping, dog. Let's check out the new jump shot, man. Got that okay. Vince Carter. He really be having a wet base. Well, I guess I guess now, he Vince already Car spoke on it. I guess this was Joe Joe Noah was speaking on. I guess. All right, let's see. Let's fast forward. See, can we find it? Does it look better? Come on, man. Tighten up. Look, Double H post this immaculate clip showing y'all how cooked the game is. Look, Buddy's not even playing, right? And he gets an automatic steal. I thought this was removed in 19. That's crazy, right? Y'all think he... Bro, that's just like... You know what else this remind me of? When the guy on the one he wants that is not playing, but somehow you get a body up. How a nigga that not even playing get a body up? He didn't even do nothing. This is what I mean. The, the, the game is sick, bro. This game is holding hands so bad. And for a guy like me, I love defense. I love being able to assert my dominance. I love being able to get up in a nigga shit, dog, and, and, and make that nigga have to work extra hard to beat me. I love it, dog. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be, I love to think I'm a lockdown defender. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yo, what's good, gang? What's up, big dog? I love to think I'm that nigga that can that can stop the best offensive player. That's I want to hold the best guy on the team. Now I'm a little older and I probably can't do that no more. You know what I'm saying? But when I was coming up, my partners would tell you I want to hold the best nigga on the team. I'm that's him. I got him. Now, like I said, I'm a little older now, so I probably gotta you know what I'm saying watch how I move. Yo, what's good, gang? Appreciate the new support, man. So I, you know. It's crazy to me to see that 2K is out here helping niggas play defense. From, from my background, you got to think how I feel about this. Personally, you helping this nigga play defense? I don't like that, man. I don't like it. So we getting niggas fake steals. We got niggas with fake body ups that not even playing the game. But if you go close, you just go close to a nigga that's not playing 2K. That, oh, nigga, I'm on you. You ain't on me, nigga. You ain't even playing. Then look. Tell me, tell me why, like, you trying to get this nigga up off you, right? You know what I'm saying? You trying to do some dribble moves to get past the nigga, and you find out the nigga wasn't even playing. It was the fucking game attaching him to you. You be like, yo, what the fuck? Nah, you tripping. You tripping, 2K.
My boy said, me too, I won the championship in high school, getting a steal on the best player. Man, I'm telling my, you know, playing defense, just playing defense is like, for basketball players, you know, it's, it's one of our ways that we can, we get tough. Like, you know, you, you know, defense create heart. Come on, Dr. Lyon, you know we're going to be in that gym. That motherfucker play defense. He said, man, uh, go on, go who will run it to me and lead me to where they're going to. Whoa. Come on, dog. But not in 2K. Come on, bro. My boy said, I hate this game. I ain't played in two weeks. It. It's tough, man. I ain't going to lie. It's tough. But, man, y'all already know, man. Make sure y'all go drop a like on the Swan video, man. Um. It, 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 the game is it, in a bad spot, man. It's in a bad spot. It's in a bad spot. It's in a bad spot. We, the only thing that can help us is, I told y'all, these top content creators. But you know what I'm loving right now? I don't know if y'all are paying attention, but they're getting rid of a lot of this DI shit. Um, I, think we, I, think, I, think, I think we may be moving past this everybody's included shit. You know, I know Walmart, they just um, got rid of their quality, the DEI program that they had. Um, Y'all know, now I understand for some people that said the red skin name was a racial slur. Listen, I get that. I get that. I don't know if I want to speak on this one. But y'all know the Redskins name ain't supposed to be coming back. You know what I'm saying? Um, they tore a lot of statues down because of the DEI program. And you know how people feel. So, I don't know if I want to touch on that in these type of videos. That's, a, that's another. That's, a, that's our personal reaction right there. But y'all understand what I'm saying? Though A lot of the DEI stuff is starting to come back. I'm starting to get, get out of here. And they starting to bring back their true feelings because what I mean is we don't want to we don't want to acknowledge racism. I mean, not acknowledge it. We don't we don't want to give racism a platform to survive. I don't want to touch on that because I feel like if I keep speaking on, it, I'm gonna touch on it. But what I'm saying is. The DEI program, people, is about to be out of here soon. The world is starting to look like men are coming back. Masculinity is starting to be a thing again because they, they've been trying to kill us. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to kill a man. They're trying to kill that dog in you. They're trying to kill that man in you, that hunter in you. You know what I'm saying? So it seems like it's starting to come back. And I'm not just speaking on small levels. We've seen it in, in a major situation. Like I said, Walmart was a good example. Um... But see, the thing is, this is what happened. When you start letting small groups be powerful for, for, for too long, one year is enough. And these groups get to be so powerful that they can demand things. Not only do they demand things, they have money. I want to speak on some shit, but I don't know if it's the time. It's just like, you know how a lot of laws get passed because of who has the money. So it's like, I'm going to give you an example. The black community might say, yo, we want this. Can we get this for us? But we might not have the money as a community or an organization to go give to this candidate. So now this candidate won't give us some of the shit that we want. But see, you go over here with the rainbow community and the rainbow might say, yo, we want this. Huh? Because see, it's business. A lot of laws that get implemented into, you know, when, when, these, when these politicians start implementing new laws, I don't want to go down that road. I don't want to go down that road. But what I'm saying is the DEI niggas are almost out of here. I think our time is coming back. Well, if you can play football, you play football. If you can't, get your motherfucking ass off the field, nigga. We finna not, we're not going to let you score. I think that shit coming back. I don't think we're going to be seeing no more respectfully Handicapped kids participating with kids that are not handicapped. You know what I'm saying? Am I making sense? And I'm not trying to be disrespectful. 
They don't belong on the same courts, bro. Why we why we let niggas score in a game? Why is we holding up the game to let this person score when this is not his lane? He has a lane. Why is he over here playing with us? Come on, dog. Yo, niggas say when you was coming up as a kid, did they let you play because you was your mama said, yo, let my baby play with y'all. Get the fuck out of here. We don't give a fuck about your mama. We love y'all and respect y'all, but this is this is the grown-up side. Y'all go play on that side. But see, now they done made it to where if you don't let them play, niggas, it's a lawsuit. Oh, it's a, um, you know, he hate us. They don't like our kind. Nigga, I ain't never said, nigga, what? They create so many things that can get you canceled. Get, but see, if y'all notice, that's why I say I don't know. We may speak on the Drewski shit because that's that all that ties into that, man. But this ain't the type of night because we're going to be playing 2K tonight, so we ain't going to get too crazy on it tonight. But we're going to move on to our next video.